Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, I want to go and showcase some of the most anticipated PS5 games that are going to be coming out throughout this year. We're going to be showcasing up some trailers, and we also have a really cool thing that PlayStation themselves actually went and I put up on the PlayStation blog that even goes and has game developers kind of giving their thoughts and why they think a certain game is so cool. So if any of you guys are clicking on this video, we'll probably have a timestamp linked down below, either in the description or if you guys could also see it on the actual YouTube player itself, and I'll go take you straight towards an actual game uh, itself with the trailer and kind of talk about it as as well just in case i do ramble or i go and talk about other random stuff or maybe you just find the game uninteresting well that i'll link down below so as well also if you guys are brand new to the channel welcome guys we are giving away a ps5 if you guys want to enter all you guys have to do is go and subscribe to the channel leave a like if you guys enjoy these types of uh type of videos leave a comment down below maybe your favorite game that you guys are on the lookout for and really quick stuff you guys can go and skip ahead if you guys want to amazon link goes always have that link down below for the ps5 my twitter and twitch stream link down below if you guys ever just want to come say hi and hang on out over there and of course the weeble if you guys sign up for weeble and you guys deposit 100 dollars, you guys go get 25 dollars for free so you guys can even do it throughout watching the video and of course coinbase you guys buy 100 dollars with any cryptocurrency you guys go and get free bitcoin so let's actually get to the actual video itself so as i mentioned basically playstation blog itself actually went and put out an actual article over here showcasing of a bunch of different games and cool stuff that we get to go and talk about and basically had a lot of different developers go and talk about which game was their favorite and we're going to go and showcase up a lot of the trailers kind of talk about which games i'm excited for and of course i would love for you guys to leave your comments down below on any game that you guys are excited for as well so without further ado let's go dive into the video itself i did go and find stuff on reddit so thank you reddit for always being a good source the r slash ps5 is always awesome so basically kind of just saying hey we're halfway through you know almost 2021 and then come like the second month of 2021 and we have a lot of cool games coming out because all you guys are hopefully starting to get your consoles and if not that's what kind of our main purpose in this channel is a lot of sony stuff and trying to help you guys get your consoles and restocks so one of the very first ones on over here for everyone else on this island I'm going to lower the audio probably just a little bit just so you guys can actually also hear me talk over it but i'll try my best not to talk over the trailers too much but this game is one of my favorite games i'll probably touch on it after we watch the trailers itself thought it was going to be easy i love the art style this one by the way i love this one so one of the more major games over here you guys can probably go and tell is death loop now basically this is a uh, very similar game to more so like imagine dishonored kind of a very similar play style but at a somewhat more unique is concept mixed down in with two as well so i think it seems really cool i like the art style i like the idea behind it and i think this is gonna be a very very good game to play on the playstation for sure and some comments over here we see some people from streets of rage death loop seems like a game that has an original concept and gameplay very well tailored artistic direction and vast paced action on top of that it's made by a french studio which we like the french boys especially for the games they make i'm always down with that and also a lot of people are more so saying it has a really great sense of style i'm a big fan of the 70s retro aesthetic i'm in the same boat just saying i also love that 70s show and it's going to be fascinating to see how the game blends competitive multiplayer with a story driven campaign i was kind of cool it's also even someone who actually worked on sack boy's big adventure which i think a lot of people actually said was really nice so and i'm with this guy anthony pepper i loved dishonored dishonored is one of my favorite game series uh more so the first one was really cool the second one was like a little bit better but i felt like it was a little bit slacking just because you know we expected more as time went on but it was a very good game very love those games and dishonored is one of my favorite games of the last decade agreed and because of dishonored i now trust arcane studios with my life maybe a little too far there but i agree everything i've seen in death loop so far has made me excited to play it i'm with it i'm over the time with all these guys too big fan of dishonored i think if you guys like dishonored definitely be on the lookout for this game now this one i have some very very lovely twitch viewers of mine that are extremely excited for elden ring such as my lovely friend ballpoint pen this game is going to be my game of the lifetime if it turns out good and i hope you guys are excited for this one this has been amazing i'll maybe not talk as much throughout the actual trailer itself i may chime in a little bit but this game is going to be hopefully one of the best games ever made and also the george rr R. martin baby let's go let me try to bump up the audio a little bit for you guys to hear let me go and be a little bit quiet so you guys can actually go and enjoy this trailer i doubt you could even imagine it. Oh. That which commanded the stars, giving life its fullest brilliance. The graphics of Something. Don't 
Tell me you don't see it. Look up at the sky. It burns. Dude, this trailer, every time I watch it, just makes me want to have this game in my hands as we speak. Looks so good. It literally looks amazing. I cannot wait for this game. Sadly, we haven't heard that much information on the game itself overall as of recent, but I cannot wait for this game to come out. I'm not sure if it's going to come out this year or not. And we'd also maybe go do a quick little touch on to for God of War because it's going to be right here. This game may not be coming out in 2021, but I think there's always a small chance. And if it does, I would scream. I'd be very, very hyped up. And uh, as we also have a little bit more of the extra more uh, stuff over here from someone, Ryan Patton from Marvel's Iron Man VR. I don't think people realize just how poised for greatness from software is with their next title. Since the original Demon Souls launched a decade ago, this prolific Japanese studio continues to hone its craft while continuously innovating along the way, and now stands as one of the most important game developers in the world. Although we know very little about Elden Ring, which I think is going to be amazing just based on everything we've seen so far, give me a game that's pretty much just like Dark Souls, Demon Souls, but that on next gen, I would be so happy. I have a hunch that From Software is preparing something extremely special. I think everyone, as we keep on seeing very baby bits of information from Elden Ring, we are extremely hyped up, and I'm with you guys. And of course, God of War. If you guys want me to, I can showcase up that trailer. God of War, I am so extremely hyped up for this next upcoming gen for it. I think it's confirmed more so for 2021. Same with Elden Ring, where it's not 100% confirmed for this year. Um, so in terms of, because there also could be always delays, just letting you guys know there's always a chance for that. Until we have actual proper release date, it's nothing confirmed but we're hoping we're being very hopeful but i think god of war is gonna be really good we can touch on that a little later on also here's gran turismo usually gran turismo trailers are amazing i'm a little bit on the middle for gran turismo i'll be honest with you guys i think it'll be okay but eh. you guys can let me know if you guys like these types of games i love the graphics the gran turismo things are amazing for graphics Like, look at how nice this looks. Yeah, for next gen, heck yeah, baby. That ray tracing tell too, I love it. I love it. This looks amazing. Maybe not my style of game all the time, but a good game. Good style. I like it. to go and touch on in for all of you guys in a quick little moment on here for the video or i guess for my question for my usual community are you guys kind of a big fan of more racing games i'm actually maybe like midway comment for this video let me know what type of game you guys usually like usually for me i think i'm more of a kind of competitive style person i kind of dabble in everything especially on twitch i pretty much play every game every game genre any like new game that comes on out but for me, I'm trying my best to kind of think of my favorite genre. I love fantasy. I love like the Final Fantasies. I love that type of style of game a lot. I play a lot of Genshin, a lot of League as well. So I like that little competitiveness mixed on him. But you can never go wrong with a really good single player game. Yeah, like most racing games I can enjoy, but I think I like more of the arcade racing, if anything. Also, Sarah is looking like she is rocking out a nice little beanie right there. <laughs> Though graphic wise and stuff, this all looks really, really nice. I really like the idea behind this. I've played a lot of these types of games throughout my years, and as I mentioned, the graphics are always very, very nice. If you guys look through the gameplay and stuff on this, like this to me looks phenomenal. More so if you ever look like in the interiors or more so maybe like the actual close up on cars looks very, very good. I don't know. I personally like these. You guys let me know if you guys like them or not in the comment section down below. Or I guess, as I mentioned, any of your favorite games throughout all the stuff, make sure you guys are using the timestamps if you guys want to bounce around. But for me, I think this is always kind of nice, kind of nifty, kind of cool, kind of cool. Let me move on to the next one on over here. But we did have a few comments, basically from uh, Hikeda Aikara Etsunu. 
from the Devil May Cry Special Edition. Probably said that wrong. We basically just said racing games are always the easiest way for players to feel the true capability of next generation gaming, which I agree on this. Now, another one over here, Chen, I think a lot of you guys collectively are going to be excited for this, is Horizon. Horizon Forbidden West. When this game comes on out, I cannot wait to go play this. I cannot wait. As, as usual, I'm going to be a little bit more quiet. I'll just maybe chime on in a few times, but this game is going to have so much potential. The Last Horizon was amazing, and this is truly where Sony kind of comes on out. Yeah, God of War, Horizon, these are the pinnacles of gaming as of nowadays for me. And look at the graphics. Look at the environment. Let me go and stop talking because I'm probably annoying someone. Let's go and showcase up the trailer. a thousand years ago. Their great cities turned to graves. In their place. That looks so good! Came new life. Now imagine this in-game. Oh my god. Amazing! Maybe that wasn't as amazing. That's a little gross. A little gross, boys. Love it. I must find a way to stop it. Or it will get worse and worse. nothing I wouldn't do to save this world. No depth I won't explore. No secret I won't unlock. No barrier. I won't cross. This mission is mine alone. If I falter, if I fail, there won't be anyone left to stop what's coming. I'm going to be so excited for this game. But whatever comes. I will be ready. That game is going to be so good. I am so excited for it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's looking amazing so far. And that's, that's kind of a big reason why we want to even go get our PlayStation in the first place for awesome games like this. I love this. And of course, we're going to have probably a lot of comments when it comes to this. I loved Horizon Zero Dawn, and I can't wait to see how the team at Gorilla evolve. Such a masterpiece. This game is going to be a phenomenal. It's probably going to be one of the very, very top tier, top tier games, at least in my opinion, for sure. Uh, as the announcement trailer for Horizon Forbidden West was really stunning, and that art design was beautiful. The game design, beautiful. The world, beautiful. I'm so excited to go and play this game. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn was such an inspirational game to play because Guerrilla created a complex and beautiful new IP, which is another major thing. Now, a lot of new games nowadays are not usually new IPs. They're just kind of remastered and remade or brand new iterations of an old IP. So I love the fact that this actually has done so well and has actually had such a unique twist on the game as well. I totally agree with that. I cannot wait. And now that I am my PS5, I can't wait to jump back into that. So someone like literally the creative director and art director for Ghost of Tsushima, one of the best selling games on the PS4. And even now, a lot of people are playing that on the PS5. And I love how even he has to go and say, and now that I have, now I finally have my PS5. 
I fell in love with Horizon Zero Dawn last year. I've had a huge backlog of games during the production of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and I can't wait to see what they'll do next. I'm with you on that one. I cannot wait for Horizon, the new Horizon. This one's actually going to be a game chat coming out very soon as well. So of all the games are going to be probably showcasing up on here, and hope you guys have been enjoying this type of video. Uh, Kenna, Bridge of Spirits, this one I'm actually kind of hyped up for, mainly because this people actually made a really cool Majora's, Majora's Mask uh video maybe you guys saw it had like 10 million views back in the day like a really cool render if not go checking it out just type in maybe like majora's mass cinematic uh but this game is coming out this uh this next upcoming month in march this game looks very cool and i'm very excited to go and actually play this and also showcase up this trailer as well also i love this that kind of reminds me a lot of ori and also a mixture of like quite a few other games i like it personally you guys will hopefully like it too very cool and very well made trailer and I'm going to go be quiet now. <laughs> I know you are kind. You sense the power that flows through this land. Yet, you do not fully understand it. Driven by the belief that you can help these troubled spirits. But you cannot hide your weakness from me. You have no power here. This game has potential. Potential, boys. And I was thinking this too as well when I saw the previous stuff. It kind of reminded me a lot of like Pikmin and also Ori mixed in together. A lot of potential. Very hyped up. I love the environment. Might be a little bit more indie, but it looks very cool. Also, you guys got to admit that little, like, these little cute little nuggets are so adorable, boys. You can also play this one up on PC, too, as well. But, of course, a lot of you guys are PlayStation boyos, so I'm very hyped up for that. Uh, and also, it's funny because someone from Resident Evil 3, I guess I'm not allowed to say Resident Evil Village. You know, at least we know where their, at least we know where their consistency lies. Jokes aside, I'm really looking forward to Kenna, Bridge of Spirits. I really love the art direction. I love the art direction, too. And it looks like it's turned out to be a fun adventure game I can share with my family. Now, this one's kind of an interesting one. I feel like we might want to go and skip on through kind of quick. Also, thank you for following me up on Twitch. Thank you, Razor, <laughs> if you watch this. Uh, this one looked a little bit more, maybe not fully into my style, so I may go and talk over a little bit more. But this one's called Little Devil Inside. Sometimes these kind of little cool indie games are a little bit more nifty and interesting. And I always like different style games. I like games that are slightly more different and unique. Not my favorite art style, but there's always a chance since maybe someone's out there likes this type of art style. So let me go and stop talking about the trailer. It has potential. I like unique ideas. So let's go and see. I love this. This looks very cool, stylistically.
Now that one I feel like is probably the more maybe polarizing one of all of those. Let me know if you guys like this one or if you guys are a fan of this one. I like the different unique art style of it. Yeah, kind of like I really like the cast of the 19th century uh, explorer hunting down monsters with an old professor alongside. It looks very cool, has some potential. That's maybe not necessarily my favorite type style of game, but I think it's always kind of nice to have different types of different types of videos and different types of games to go and showcase. This one, guys. Quick little touch on before you actually do this one. Ratchet and Clank, I am so excited for this game. We finally have the release date on this one, so let me go and actually showcase up the trailer. This one's a good one, and I'm sure it's gonna be a big fan favorite as well. I'm so excited for this one. This is coming soon too, boys, coming soon. You all right back there? No way. It appears that the dimensions are collapsing on one another. If we cannot get to... Get to... Right, the ship. I mean, we can't be that far. I have it in my sight. They have found us, Ratchet. <laughs> <laughs> How do I steer this thing? Ask nicely. Slow down, please. That's not listening. The dimensions are weakening considerably. How bad is it? Well, it is certainly not good. It's me. I'm so excited for this game. Ratchet. We are too late. Look at how good that looks. I love it. Ratchet. Who? That one, boys. That one's going to be a personal favorite of mine for sure. Definitely leave your comments down below if you guys like that one. The PS2 era of Ratchet and Clank games, along with the Jack and Dexter trilogy, were and are still important to me. And Sly Cooper. They always forget about Sly Cooper. Insomniac is a studio I very much look up to, uh, and I can't wait to see what they have accomplished with the new hardware. The 20, uh, 2016 reimagining of the first Ratchet and Clank is an amazing game. Oh, that one. I'm very hyped up for that, that for sure. And to hate the least. As well, we also have one more I want to go touch on to as well before we wind down the video for the most anticipated videos. But for some of the final comments for the, you know, Resident Evil on this one, I'm looking forward to playing Resident Evil Village from Derek Yu from Spelunky 2, which is a very good indie game out there. I'm on a huge Resident Evil kick right now, and after playing through Resident Evil 3, I started playing Resident Evil 7 to make sure I'm ready when Village finally arrives. It's definitely one of my favorite horror series now from any form of media. Now, one other one I'm sure you guys can probably tell by my actual channel. You know, I'm very much a big fan of cats. I love cats. I'm a big cat type of guy. Even my little profile picture up on here is also for cats. And this one's probably one of my favorite ones just by personal bias. And this one's called Stray. So we actually do have the confirmation from actual uh, Sony or PlayStation saying it's coming in 20 uh, to PS5 in the 2021. So let's go dive on. And this one you will literally play as a cat. Probably one of my personal favorites. So let's go watch off this trailer as well. And hope you guys have been enjoying the video too as well. Game looks so adorable. It almost gives me a little bit of near vibes too. A little bit.
Like, come on, guys. It has cats. Who doesn't like a cat game? It's adorable. I love it. I love it. And it's coming out this 2021. So that's pretty much about it when it comes to actually the most majorly kind of, I guess, games to be on the lookout for, be excited for when it comes to the actual PlayStation and PS5 coming on out. I would love, also, first of all, I just want to say thank you guys all if you guys didn't make it this far throughout the video. I'm sure maybe some people were bouncing around or skipping to some of their favorite actual times. If you guys would like to, I would always love it if you guys would leave a like as well. If you guys ever want to go leave a comment down below on which game you guys are the most excited for, I think me personally, Probably God of War, but we don't know if that's 100% confirmed. It may get slightly delayed. Of course, uh, Ratchet and Clank, very high up there in Horizon, are probably my favorites. With a notable mention, I do also like The Stray as well. Now, there's a few other games, too, I think I'll probably be playing for sure and enjoying throughout this year, but I think those are my personal favorites. But when it comes to gaming, everyone has a different type of gaming uh, choice and vibe that they like the most. So as always, leave your comments down below of which ones you guys like the most as well. As I mentioned, all this was timestamps. So if you guys want to go check back another different trailers, you guys always can. And of course, thank you guys all so much for watching. Our usual sell for these videos too as well. We always have the Amazon link down below. If you guys are still trying to go and find a PS5 yourself, we do have the PS5 giveaway going on. If you guys are hyped to play any of these games overall, I know I'm very, very hyped up myself to play a lot of these just in general. Uh, because I'm a big gamer. I love streaming on Twitch and playing these games and sharing them with you guys as well. Which is speaking of my Twitch, feel free to follow the Twitter and the Twitch stream. Link down below as always. And of course, sign up for the Weeble if you guys just want to make free easy money. Of course, you guys sign up and deposit $100. You guys go get a bunch of free money, $25 for free. And Coinbase, you guys buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency. You guys go and get free Bitcoin. I'm going to love to go and look through all this video and kind of see all your thoughts and opinions. I hope you guys all enjoyed. I hope you guys all like these types of videos too as well. And of course, we'll have some more fun stuff on the channel all throughout the rest of the day. So I love you guys all. Thank you guys all so much for watching. A little bit of a long video too as well, like a little bit of a documentary over here. And I'll see you guys all up in the next one. Let me, like I said, let me know your favorite games linked down below. And I'll see you guys all later on.